tumbling on the seas Far away from dry land And it's bitter memories Casting out my sweet line With abandonment of love No ceiling bearing down on me Save the starry sky above With light in my hand With you in my arms Headlong into the heartland Like a cannon in the rain With the beating of the sleepers And the burning of the coal Candle towns flashing by In the nights so full of soul With light in my hand With you in my arms Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing the Fisherman's Blues by the Waterboys. Let's get straight into it. So let's look at the intro with our four easy chords. They're just going to be G, F using the A string, A minor, and C. So if you're not familiar with that F chord, it's, there's your normal F, which is from the D string. All I'm doing is moving my third finger over to the A string and putting my pinky underneath on the D. And that just brightens the chord up a little, okay? So the intro, let's have a look at the rhythm. slow that right down that's on G right so we're kind of getting this swing thing going on down down up down up down up but I'm doing small down up so I'm going down down up so that's a small down and then a big down up so we got small big Small, small, big, big, right? Small, big, small, small, big, big. And what I mean by small is I'm just, I'm not doing, I'm not doing the entire, all the strings. I might just hit those bottom three. change to the F, A minor, and C. You might have also seen me do a little step up to C. So, 
sorry. So all I'm doing there, I'm actually just putting my third finger, sorry, my second finger in the second fret, which is the B string, just before I take it to C. Sounds kind of dissonant on its own. It's kind of like what we call a step in note, okay? So it just. And that's just to add a little bit of interest, okay? again. And so for the chorus, you're going to do the same rhythm, except you're just going to put a little bit more power behind it. So that's the way they do it, okay? What you probably saw me doing, that's the same, that's the same. Instead of in between the F and the A minor, just hitting the G and the D, the two middle strings, just open, you get this. I'm playing exactly the same thing because effectively it's a G. So you could put an open G in there. So you could go with a light in my head, with you in my arms. So I was doing the same thing except where I was playing the F here, I was sliding it up two frets and then down to A minor. And the reason I do that I guess is just because I'm comfortable using that shape and my first finger doesn't actually come off, okay? And that's pretty much it. And then we're into the, the next verse. You can play that exactly the same. And then the next, next chorus is the same, okay? Um, however, I think if he goes towards the last verse, <clears throat> excuse me, you hear him drop it down a little bit. So you just play it softly. So as opposed to... just lighten off your strumming a little bit. We can go really light. Build it up. Okay, so it's just about adding dynamics. If you're not playing it with a band, and you're just playing it by yourself and singing. So it's good to add these little things to, to keep it more interesting, okay? Now, quite frankly, when I played it at the beginning, I was reading it as I was playing it, you know, I probably played it through two or three times. And that's kind of, you know, just to, to, to get an idea of how it goes. It's kind of how I would do it if I was gonna busk it or something. But if I wanted to perform it, more professionally, I would certainly sit down and think about what I was going to do with the dynamics, okay, to try and make it a little bit more interesting. So the only thing that really changes towards the end, the last chorus, with light in my head, with you in my arms, and he 
goes to a C. So it's G, F, A minor, then C. Then he just goes to the intro chords for the solo, you know, when I was whistling. Badly. <laughs> with light in my head, with you in my arms. Okay, so then he keeps going to that uh, G, F, A minor, C. Okay, and it kind of fades out that way. And I, you know, at the beginning, I didn't do it the same as it is on the record. It's just for an example. Okay, so there is something else you can do if you wanted to get to make it really cool. You could start messing with the try and add the bass line along the top with it. Okay, so for example, it would go something like this. So I'm going to hit the bottom E on the G chord. I'm just going to do the intro here. So it's G, F, A minor, C. Hit the bottom E on the G. So I'm pluck, down, up, pluck, down, up. So I'm hitting the bottom E and then I'm hitting the D. I don't always get it right. So that's what happens on the G. And then you go to the F. So then I'm hitting the A and the D. Pluck, down, up, pluck, down, up. And then the A minor is obviously A, and then the E. And the C, something changes, right? So we go C, which is the A note. And then we move that third finger over to the G string, sorry, the bottom E string, which is the G note. So I'll try and put this together for you, okay? So you get the idea, right? And, you know, so if I was going to go and play that professionally live, I'd probably add those little bits in because it makes it sound a bit more interesting. Okay, so there you have it guys. Hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to give me the thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and check out some of the links below. I'll see you again the same time next week.